everybody, I am back with another video. In this video, I wanted to share some new information that a lot of people may not know about. I became, I subscribed to Faze's The Next Level channel several weeks ago when she brought out the video about R. Kelly, she did an interview with R. Kelly, um, nutritionist, uh, nutritionist who, who was nutritionist 10 or 15 years ago. And when she was his nutritionist, and she, and she told a lot, a lot of things about Andrea. And, and I knew that I knew, I said there were, um, parts of a video I would like to share and she said I could. This guy here, he tells, he, he gives us a lot of insight into what's going on in the R. Kelly case. Because as I said, R. Kelly's real friends are coming out and speaking up for him. And a lot of the stuff that's going down Everybody, I, a person don't have to be a hundred percent perfect person for somebody to say, well, this person deserves all this untrue stuff that's put out about him because he's this kind of person. Like I said, as I said on my channel many times, I don't take sides. Because I'm not on R. Kelly's side, I like his music. And I'm not on the surviving R. Kelly side. Because I basically can see that his critical thinking people can see through the BS, the half truth. The one-sided narrative. Most people can see through it. They may get their point of view may be make it ignored, overlooked, shouted down, or whatever. But people can see. People know. But anyway, I wanted to share what this guy has to say, and he said all this, give all this information about um, our Kelly situation, and he sent her the proof. But he, but as she says, she don't talk about other YouTubers. But he has something he wanted to say to a particular YouTuber, and I will click on it. I will click on it and let you hear a little bit of what he has to say. I'm here for this. <laughs> I'm gonna take your slogan. <laughs> so I'm here for this. So I'm gonna put it like this. I know. We don't, I don't too much, I don't talk about other bloggers. I don't, I don't <laughs> put anybody down. Everybody's doing it their own way. It's their business. They can do that. That's what I'm going to leave it at. I'm going to say this nicely. Tasha K. The blogging lawyer. Tasha unwit with Tasha K, whatever it is. I'm going to be real with you. He said unwit. I seen the way you put some stuff together and you put the lies together and it seemed believable. <laughs> However, you slipped up when you said you want to see R. Kelly behind bars. Okay. So now I know you got a personal issue with the situation. My question is this, Tasha K. What is your personal direct reference to the case? I'm sorry, I can't ask you that. I'm going to tell you what it is. You and Tim Savage are great friends. You sit at Tim Savage's house and he comes and sit at your house. I don't know if y'all sip tea together, but y'all go to each other's house. Y'all good friends. So I see you trying to help your friend. But you're trying to help your friend extort my friend. Once again, 
you put a nice little list together like this one is transporting this one and this one is doing this one and this one is that one. Tasha K, you know, you remind me of child support. Nothing but a third party debt collector. And I'm going to keep it real with you. And it's coming from a friend of a friend that you try to hurt. You have a child on the way. You already got legal issues. Leave it alone before you find yourself under the microscope once again. I have no beef with you, Tasha K. But you will not lie on my friend. You will not paint a picture that he's a, a, a slave sex trader. Because Kim Fox referenced you when she told that indictment. So, with that being said, Kim Fox and Tasha K, whatever y'all want to say, bring proof along with truth. It's easy to jump on, but it's hard as hell to jump up. At the end of the day, I want to see y'all do well, both of y'all. Y'all sisters of melanin. But Tasha K, you're going about it the wrong way. Just like I said about my homegirl at Lifetime. You're doing it the wrong way. Honestly, Oprah ain't none of y'all friends. So, since Tasha K, you're trying to impress Oprah to get a daytime talk show, it's not going to work. She don't care about you. She got get. I said all of that to say, Tasha K, I like what you do, but you've been caught in too many lies. Slow down. Pump your brakes. Get the facts, not people's opinion. That's all I got to say about Tasha K. Okay. Okay. So, I was looking to just whatever the... I guess whatever these YouTube streets guide me, because a lot of this stuff, we, a lot of this stuff we talked about, is just to me, it is not intellectually stimulating me as knowledge that I need to roll with. My page is not monetized and, and it's because I don't choose to have it monetized. But I will but I don't have nothing better to do than sit here in my bed feeling have my good days and my bad days see information that piques my attention and say Okay, I'm not hearing nobody talk about this. Phases, the next level, is talking about this. Hmm. So let me give my perspective on it. And my perspective on this is... From the beginning, like he said, I remember when it first came out against R. Kelly. Tasha K said that he had a sex ring or something. She put that out there. And now it's going from there to the him and the sparkle niece tape again. And in her video the guy said that I had said that at the time, and I figured this out the other day, that at the time, the spark her niece being in the video, she was not 14, she was of age, she was 17. And I understood that from the other day from looking at, I don't know what video I was looking at, but in the video, the person said something, I said, so, oh, the spark her niece wasn't 14, she was 17. Which in, in state 16 is the legal age. 
in some states and then in every state in the United States 17 is legal age and Dana J said in the video and you can um go back to her channel and you can listen to it where he says Sparkle niece was 17 not 14 so my thing is if someone needs to go to jail for doing these things that they say R. Kelly did then that's one thing but to go to jail for twisted truth oh yes so the truth is yes it was sparkles niece in the video but she was 17 not 14 and there's something else he said in this video to favor that, I, that caught my attention that I hadn't heard anywhere else. Let me see. He said, uh, the guy that found the second video that he gave to All Red is Sparkle's Godfather. So that's the connection. So where did he get the video? See? Oh, the Sparkle Godfather. So that right there, hmm? That caught my attention. Like in this guy, it's like, he's coming out all of this falseness that's put out about R. Kelly. This false narrative that's put out about R. Kelly. And like he says, the only way to unravel false narrative is to put the truth out. And the truth of is coming out. So just by every single thing I ever heard about this by R. Kelly and all this, it's like everything has been debunked. But anyway, that's all I want to say about this video, about this video. And I will be back with more videos. Bye.